So, magandang araw ulit. So, welcome to another episode ng ating Sipnayan kay Teacher Tony. So, this time, ang pag-uusapan naman natin ay synthetic division. So, last time we have discussed about uh, division of polynomials and we were able to use long division. So, this time we're going to use synthetic division. So, uh, ito yung parang shortcut, no? mas madali na, na process when you are dividing polynomials. Bakit? Kasi uh, it involves somehow parang two process lang eh. Pag long division, di ba, nagdi-divide ka and then after getting the partial quotient, you multiply. After getting, you have to subtract, di ba? So, three processes ang involved. Dito naman, kay synthetic division, dalawang process lang ang involved. Ano yun? Um, multiplication and addition. Okay. So, let us see. So, paano nga ba ang synthetic division? So, kay synthetic division, ang gagawin natin dyan, no? ang gagawin natin kay synthetic division, kailangan din, na, kailangan din na ang ating mga polynomials ay nasa standard form. Okay, kailangan nasa standard form. At kailangan din, maisingit din natin yung mga nawawalang terms. Okay, para hindi tayo malilito-lito. Lalong-lalo dito sa synthetic division, importante, importante, na maisingit mo yung mga nawawalang terms. Okay. So, let's have example 1. Okay. So, this is our dividend and this is our divisor. Okay. Nasa standard 4 naman siya. So, descending powers to 1, 0. So, wala rin nawawala na term kasi kompleto naman siya. O, oh, 2 and then 1 and then 0. Okay. And then 1 and 0. Okay. So, paano natin gagamitin si synthetic division? Okay. Ang kailangan lang natin sa synthetic division are the numerical coefficients. So, i-disregard natin yung mga literal coefficient. Pero, uh, para hindi kayo malito, isulat nyo na lang muna. For example, ito. You have x squared and then the x is term and then the constant term. Yung constant term siya yung walang variable or yung ang degree ay 0. So, ano bang numerical coefficient ni x squared? Diba 2? So, write down 2. Anong numerical coefficient ni x? So, that's 5. So, write 5. And then, ano yung constant term mo dito? Negative 23. So, you have negative 23. Huwag kalimutan ha, kapag minus yon, pag minus dito sa dividend, so, automatic siya yung magiging sign na negative. Eh, but sir, dito, plus 5x. Diba pag positive, hindi mo naman na sinusulat. Okay, so how do we do that now, sir? And then we write it this way. Ayan, pag ganyan. So, si dividend pa rin yung nasa loob. Okay? And then, this one you have x plus 5. So, you have x plus 5 equals 0. Pag sinolve mo si x dyan, diba, this is a linear equation in one variable, we subtract 5 both sides. So, you have x plus 5 minus 5 equals 0 minus 5. So, x is negative 5. Yung lalabas dyan, which is this one, siya yung magiging divisor natin. So, you have negative 5. So, that's your divisor. So, sir, ano pong gagawin? This one, yung unang-unang numerical coefficient, which is 2, you have to bring that down. So, bring down 2. After that, anong gagawin, sir? Multiply. So, that's the first, first operation. You multiply. Negative 5 times 2, that's negative 10. Tama? So, dito may susulat yung product. So, negative 5 times 2, negative 10. And then, you add 5 plus negative 10, that is negative 5. Tama? Hmm. Kung wala yung negative sign, sino mas malaki? Si 10. O, oh. Diba? Pag magkaiba ng sign, susubtract. O, oh, 10 minus 5, 5. E, paano malalaman yung sign, sir? O, oh, sino mas malaki? Si 10 o 5? 10. Anong sign? Negative. O, kaya negative 5. O, oh, anong susunod na gagawin, sir? We will multiply. Negative 5 times negative 5. That's positive 25. Tama? Tama ba? And then, after that, we add. Negative 23 plus 25, anong sagot? 2. Okay. Yung nasa dulo, siya si remainder. 
Okay. So, ano po ang quotient, sir? Ano pong quotient? Okay. Dahil, ito ay first degree, tas ito second degree, anong ginagawa natin? Di ba? We subtract. 2 minus 1, 1. So, yung unang term mo dito, 2x raised to 1. Okay? And then, minus 5. So, this is now your quotient. 2x minus 5 is your quotient and your remainder is 2. So, what now is the answer? So, you have 2x minus 5 plus 2 over x plus 5, brother. So, x plus 5. So, this is x. And x plus 5. Okay. So, tandaan na, yung divisor mo ang laging denominator ng remainder. Okay, so, ganun lang kadali si synthetic division. Sige, so, let's have another example. Okay, for number 3, you have here, x to the 4th plus x squared minus 5 divided by x minus 5. So, nasa standard form naman, tama, kasi pababa, 4, 2, 0. Pero maraming missing terms, o. Oh. So, ba sabi natin, isingit yung mga nawawalang term. So, paano nga gawin? Highest exponent is x raised to 4. So, x cubed, x squared, x, and then constant term. Anong coefficient x to the 4th? 1. So, write 1. Nawawala si x cubed, sir. So, 0. And then, x squared, anong coefficient? 1. Si x, sir, nawawala. O, di 0. What's the constant term? negative 5. Okay? So, what's your divisor? x minus 5 equals 0. So, how do we solve for x here? So, add 5 both sides. x minus 5 plus 5. 0 plus 5. So, x is positive 5. So, this is your divisor. Okay? So, anong ulit unang gagawin? Bring down 1. And then, anong susunod? Multiply. 5 times 1, 5. Ano susunod? Add 0 plus 5, 5. And then you multiply again. 5 times 5, 25. And then add 1 plus 25, 26. And then you multiply. That is 130. And then you add 0 plus 130, 130. And then you multiply. That's 650. And then you add negative 5 plus 650, 645. Again, so, yung nasa dulo, siya ang iyong remainder. Okay? So, what will be the quotient? So, ano magiging quotient natin, sir? So, anong gagawin? X to the fourth. So, 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1. Kasi pag hindi nakasulit yung exponent 1. So, that's 3. So, dahil 1 yan, so you have x cubed. Tama? And then, 5. So, plus 5 x squared. Kasi pababa. O, this will be plus 26x. And then, the constant term is 130. So, this is your quotient. Okay? And then, what will be the, the final answer? So, you have x cubed plus 5x squared, plus 26x, plus 130, and then, plus yung numerator, si remainder, over yung divisor natin na x minus 5. Okay? So, ang dali lang, no? Kapag synthetic division. So, that's it. So, see you on our next episode for more division of polynomials.